Good evening, guys. Good evening, good evening, good evening. And surprise, I am out on a Saturday night. Saturday in the park. Thought it was a 4th of July. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, yeah, that's the only thing you're going to get out of me. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's Saturday night, guys. Saturday night. And the reason why I'm going out is because I may not go out tomorrow night because we all know. It's the Swifty Bow tomorrow night. The Swifty Bow is going to be on TV. Anyways, guys, yeah. Um, I was out last night, guys. I was out last night. But unfortunately, all the audio that I had playing or recorded did not come with any, any audio. Man, all the video clips that I uh, did last night, man, unfortunately, um, didn't have any audio. Okay. Um, the thing is, with my laptop, or actually with my iPad, once I turn it off, as in like totally completely turn it off, and I turn it back on, it resets my settings, okay? Or at least it resets my volume. So, with that being said, um, I did that yesterday, not knowing and not not basically catching it, my, uh, my speaker was turned off. So, you know, you get to see my, uh, my videos, but you don't hear nothing, okay? You don't hear nada, all right? So, all you see is basically just me or just a you know, a screen with no audio, okay, uh, but I did go out last night, guys, I did, I did pretty good, um, let's go ahead and see what I did last night, uh, from what I can show you, um, earnings, 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 so at least the details, L last night, activity, so this is what I did last night, guys, okay, I started around eight o'clock, um, Let's start from the beginning. Um, that was late. Okay, here we go. So, um, all my trips, most, I won't say all of them, but most of my trips, guys, last night were pretty long, good paying fares. Okay. Uh, this one was around 36 bucks with uh, some a tip added. And then further down, uh, $25. Um, and then further down, sixteen bucks, or sixteen fifty-six at ten fifty-nine, and then at twelve fifty-seven I did twelve forty-eight, and then at four twelve I did thirty-eight eighteen with a eight dollars and thirteen cent tip. Okay, and then on the lift side, let's check out on the lift side. Um, and I think on the lift side I do have something in the bank. I'll show you guys real quick so we can take that into account. 216, guys. What is that? 216 or 218? Uh, don't have my glasses on. All right. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the breakdown. Uh, see activities. So yesterday, um, this is what I did last night. All right. So started at uh, my first trip was at 834. Um, so 854 plus the $4 tip. And then I did one for $17, and then I did another for $8 with the $5 tip. Then I did a 10, then I did a 12, and I did another 12, and then I did a 25. So all in all, guys, all in all, my night was around 224 or 226, okay? Um, now, one thing I did do, guys, was I had an airport trip. Okay, I had an airport trip that was going and dropping off at the airport around 5 o'clock this morning. So then I headed over to the queue because when you drop off someone at the airport, guys, when you guys drop off someone at the airport, you automatically get put to the front of the line. Or at least you get to put in a group that's in front of the line. So what happened was yesterday, and I rarely, rarely pick people up at the airport at Bush, right, because it's a shit show. But I'm slowly, slowly starting to understand the whole process. I'm starting to understand the whole process to where, you know what, it might not be as bad as I think it is. So anyways, so I went to um, so I went to go drop off these people who are going to Miami. And I dropped them off and then I went over to the queue. The queue, the reason why I don't like going to the queue at Bush Inter Intercontinental Airport is because the queue from the airport, there's a pretty good distance, okay? It's not like Hobby. Well, Hobby, basically the queue is pretty much on site of the airport you're only basically almost a minute and a half away from picking up your passengers the queue over there at bush which is on the north side of houston that one's a little bit more uh 
I guess secluded, so to speak. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it takes you about a good minute to get over to the to the queue, and you have to go through the other, um, you know, the other hustle and bustle. So it, sometimes it can bottleneck on you guys. So that's why I don't like going to the queue over there at Bush Continental, or should I say that's why I would stay away from it. But last night, you know what? I said, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance. You know, uh, it's gonna go ahead and put me in the front of the queue. Um, let me just go ahead and test it out. So anyway, so I went to the queue, and then like 15, 20 minutes, um, I got a message saying for me to go to another staging area. And uh, so when I got there, it told me that once I get there, I'm gonna receive um, some fares. Okay, so basically, it's it's you go to the queue, which is where everybody's gonna be at. And then you're put in a small little uh, group of people because you're already taken someone there to drop off. Okay, so you, that's kind of like a bonus, you know, or an incentive. So those people get to put, get to be sent over to closer to the airport. And then when, once you get there, it's kind of like you're meeting the passenger halfway. Okay, without even knowing where you're going and how much it's paying. But now pay attention. Here at here at Bush Intercontinental Airport. So once you go over to, I guess, the main queue, which is going to be the group of, you know, the small group of people that were thrust into the beginning of, of the, the line, you only get three chances, guys. You only get three chances, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's that's how it is, you know, throughout Uberland, so to speak. You only get three chances. The first one was paying $22. I do remember that correctly. It was paying $22, but it was going north. I didn't want to go north. I wanted to go south. I wanted to go towards the house. So I didn't take that one. The second one was $13. That one was going to the west. I don't want to go to west. I want to go to south. Then I got a an alert saying, be careful. You could be uh, being thrown back. You, you could be taken out of the queue. So the next one, basically, I had to uh, either grab it, no matter what. Well, the third one was only paying like around $17, but that was going to the north again. I'm like, man, nope, sorry. So it took me out of the queue. It told me to go back to the to the other queue, which is the big group, right? The big group of queue uh, of uh, drivers just waiting around, just waiting around. Um, but I was going to be put in an, the same group that I was before. All right. So basically, I'm, it was telling me to go back, but I'm still going to be in the head of the line. All right, so basically it was giving me another chance to choose three rides, up to three rides. The third one, you have no choice but to take it. If not, then you're just gonna get completely getting kicked out. So I go, wait for about 30 minutes. The first one that, that showed up, or should I say the first one out of the second set, um, the first one was like around seven bucks. No. Second one was around 10 bucks that was going to the north again. The third one, was $13, that was almost going towards downtown Houston. I was about to grab it because all these came through the trip radar, all right? None of them were really thrown on my lap. These were just coming through the, to the trip radar. I was about to snag it. Nope, someone else grabbed it. So you know what? I just said, screw it. So I just went ahead and just left because I was trying to end the night pretty strong. So, but I ended the night like around 224, 226. Um, started around eight o'clock. I, I finished around 645, almost seven o'clock, you know? And the reason why is because on Saturday, guys, there's not that much traffic in the morning, okay? Now, if it was Monday through Friday, yes, by all means, I'm ending my night around five. Or should I say, I'm ending my morning around five because I just don't want to be put up with uh, all the traffic and, and uh, bullshit nonsense, you know, school zones and buses and whatnot. So, and that's the reason why I don't I don't go anything past six o'clock in the morning, right? So five o'clock is usually my my ending, and then I just go ahead and just uh, head to the house, and I get to the house like around five thirty, five forty, depending where I'm coming from. But anyways, guys, I'm out tonight. My microphone is on. I've double checked it. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and see what I have in the box. I think this one was 213, I think it was. Um, nope, 218. 218. And then on Uber, I know I cashed out. Okay. Um, so it's going to be zeros across that board. Okay. So, yeah. So the only thing I take into account is going to be the lift. All right. My truck is on full. My truck is washed. It's detailed in and out. I'm ready to rock and roll, unfamiliar territory because I don't normally go out on Saturdays, 
But the thing is, tomorrow night I may or, or may not go out because it's Super Bowl. Okay, it's uh, Swifty night, so uh, um, I want to see how many people out there are going to be doing little uh, drinking games. You know, how many times they show Taylor Swift do a shot. You know, how many times they show an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend do a shot. How many times they show her trying to act like she can dance, do a shot. <laughs> you know, the list goes on and on, on and on, on and on. You know, um, you know, to me, guys, honestly, the Super Bowl has been, you know, lately, the past couple of years has been a joke. Now it's basically who's performing and what kind of commercials. To me, I'm watching a game. As long as my numbers hit, I'm all for it. But once you start adding all this outside stuff, you know what, now it's, just, it's becoming a, a sideshow. So uh, that's my two cents. You know what, you know, I, I don't I don't care, you know. Uh, but you know what, it's about the game. It's not basically who's performing or who's going to be up in the stands or anything like that back and forth. You know what, it's a football game, guys. It's, it's, it's not a circus, all right? And that's how it's turning out to be, you know. Uh, but anyways, guys, on with the show, on with the apps. Ride share, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what these apps have for us tonight. Hopefully, I don't have to take a picture. Boom. Yes, I do. So, stand by, guys. Let me take a picture real quick. All right, guys. First trip is on. Let's go ahead and let's uh, take this because we're going downtown. Dude, I wasn't on Head it. to your pickup on Winding Stream LN. I wasn't on there more than two seconds, and this sucker came through. So, uh, that's a good start, guys. You know what? I like long trips. I like... Uh, you know, I just like knocking those out, especially if they're going to go in areas to where I feel comfortable, you know. Um, but you know what? Let's go and pick up this person. Who is it? Elvis? Let's go pick up Elvis, take him to uh, Graceland, and uh, see if he can sing us a couple of songs. Maybe um, try and think, uh, what's what's a good song that Elvis would can sing for us a cappella? Um, Love Me Tender, you know, um, Jailhouse Rock. Um what else the other one is uh, um, uh, separate ways uh, trying to think what else uh, suspicious minds in the ghetto um, the America trilogy yes guys I'm a big Elvis fan uh, you know going doing truck driving I've passed through Memphis numerous times uh, you can see where it says Elvis Presley Boulevard you know, um, off to the side. You Just a head turn right on Saba Road using the right lane. Almost, almost, almost. Take a quick glance and you can see Graceland from the freeway. What is that? Uh, 44 that goes down, I think it is. Or Turn right on Saba Road. But anyways, guys, yeah. You know, I've been to Memphis numerous times. But you know what? It's also in an area to where um, you just can't, you know, take your truck or a big rig. All right. Uh, I've been through Memphis numerous times. I've also been to Tupelo, where it says birthplace of Elvis Presley. I've been to a lot of places uh, to where, you know, it's, it's it's you know, uh, I've even been into Gary, Indiana, where it says home of the Jackson 5. Uh, Trying to think what else I've gone to that, you know, what. Um, also, um, Nutbush, uh, where Tina Turner was from. Um, Trying to think some other places to where, um, you know, I, I being over the road, I never really took advantage of it to go see these these places, even though I was literally minutes away from them. Okay, minutes away from them. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. You know. Um, but you know what? Let me go down and uh, pick up Elvis, take him downtown, and hopefully I have a good night to start off. So the first stone has been cast. Let me put all my personal belongings away: my wallet, uh, my keys. I put them in my center console uh, because you really don't want anything out and about to where it can slowly get picked up by uh, loose fingers. So yeah, let me go and pick up Elvis and uh, take him to Graceland and uh, yeah, start the night, guys. Peace out. All right, guys. Elvis has dropped off. I am downtown and uh, yeah, he uh, actually he's a club promoter and right now they're having a festival because it's the Chinese New Year and. Uh, so yeah, so I dropped them off at this uh, club here, and uh, he says, uh, "What club is this?" Uh, uh, oh, Sable Cat, Sable Cat, and uh, no, I'm sorry, Sable Gate. It's a winery. It's a uh, pretty nice place, or it looks like a nice place. Um, but yeah, it's they're celebrating the Chinese New Year's and. Uh, 
he was all decked out. There he is right there. Well, too bad I don't have my camera, but uh, yeah, uh, he's dressed out in his uh, Asian attire. So, uh, but anyways, uh, in fact, oh, I forgot to turn on my uh, lift app. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm downtown, which is a good area to start. But as you guys can tell, man, as soon as I turned on my Uber, you know, uh, two seconds later, man, Elvis came through. So, uh, and I completely forgot to ask him to sing, sing me a song, uh, <laughs> you know, but anyways, uh, well-spoken young guy and, uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a nice fun night and, uh, we'll see, there's Lyft right there, guys, Lyft right there, so, you know what, uh, do, 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 do. West Houston, you know what, I'll go pick this person up right behind me, I'm, I'm going to make a U-turn and, uh, only the crazy thing about these streets, guys, in 550 is, feet. Turn left on Gray Street, then turn left on Milam Street. The crazy thing about these streets is, guys, is like one road is going to be left, one road is going to be right, and then one road is going to be left, one road is going to be right, you know, things to that nature. So, you know, coming down the street, blasting that music. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that, uh, I think he was playing uh, Peso Pluma. In 300 feet. Turn left on Milam Street. Special Pluma sounds like he has a nasal condi condition, you know, um, but he's making money. He's making money, so have at it, brother. If you can make money sounding like uh, Kermit the Frog, <laughs> yeah, have at it, man. You know, if you guys don't know who Peso Pluma is, check him out. Check him out, Peso Pluma. Um, I, I, I never heard of him until, I don't know, I guess he was... Uh, it okay just like uh bad bunny i didn't know who bad bunny was until he was it all right uh but yeah peso pluma sounds like he has a nasal condition condition or it sounds like uh kermit the frog singing you know but anyways guys yeah let me go down to uh 880 alabama street pick up uh, who am I picking in a up? mile turn left on west alabama street who am i picking up i'm packing up nicole I'm picking up nicole 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 and taking her down the road let me see what's up on this one. I already, uh, already, already uh, committed myself to Nicole, and uh, go pick her up. She's right down the street. So yeah. So let me go pick up Nicole, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Peace out. All right, guys. Just finished dropping off Nicole. She is a uh, medical student, and uh, now I got to pick up this person, which is Clifford. And Turn left. Then turn left. This one's only paying like five and a quarter. Uh, but you know what? And also, guys, I went ahead and jumped on. Make a U-turn. Then turn right. On a schedule. Schedule right. Coming up for six in the morning. So, yeah. I am set for the night, guys. I am set for the night. It's, uh... Let me show you what I'm talking about. Where are you at? Let's see right there. Opportunities. Reservation. And here we are, right here. Tomorrow morning for 6.20. Or 6.50. I'm sorry, 6.50. Okay. For 50 bucks for 36 miles. Turn right, then turn oh, yeah. left. So, oh, yeah. Hopefully they don't cancel my ass. You know, sometimes they cancel at the last minute and say, oh, no, I've changed my mind. You know, whatever. You know. But, yeah, so hopefully... In I'll 400 to, uh, feet, turn left, then take a slight right. Drop these people off. And then, when I go drop them off, get thrust into the front of the line. Pick something up. And this time, you know what, guys? As long as it's paying decent, I am not going to sit there and... Um, be so picky on where it's going, you know, or, or, well, in a way, I'm not going to be picky to where it's going, you know, as long as it's paying good, I'm going to go ahead and just jump on it, because yesterday, guys, yesterday, just, you know, oh, well, but yeah, so, with that being said, I'm heading out of this apartment complex, gated community, um, take a slight right, then turn and, right, uh, going to go pick up Mr. Clifford, and take him where he needs to go, but yeah, Nicole, and medical student, very nice, very attractive girl, and uh, she's actually she's originally from Dallas. So, um, but yeah, 
but let me go ahead and go down the road and uh in a quarter of a mile turn left on up, light road pick up mr clifford and uh i already i already got a text from elvis um asking me if i can uh uh, because he doesn't live that very far from me. Uh, Turn left on Night Road. And he was like, hey, he goes, can I schedule you as a driver, a private driver? I was like, yeah, sure. Here's my number. And didn't think anything of it. And so he had already texted me, asked me that he's going to be done around 1.30. And uh, if I can come pick him up. Um, In three maybe. quarters of a mile. Turn right on South Loop West Frontage Road. If anything changes, that he'll definitely uh, let me know. But so far, yeah. So 1.30, come to downtown, which will probably be the time that I'm around downtown anyways. Um, because that's when the freaks start coming out. And pick up Elvis. And this time I probably will ask him, hey man, sing me a song. Love Me Tender or Jahas Rock or uh, uh, Separate Ways or Suspicious Minds or In the Ghetto or The America Trilogy or... Uh, what's another one? Um, um, Don't be cruel. Uh, Blue Sage shoes. And uh, that would have been cool, right? If he got into my car wearing Blue Sage Blue suede shoes. <laughs> um, but man, but 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 man, there's a long ass line to get to uh, get into Reliant. I'm not sure what exactly. I know it's not the cook off because, um, like I said, the rodeo's about to start. And the weekend right before the rodeo, they have a uh, cook-off. And it's a championship, uh, the world-class championship uh, cook-off. Uh, there's a lot of smoking teams uh, compete um, for that that uh, the big trophy on who's the best smoking team. Uh, they smoke chicken, they smoke brisket, they smoke ribs, sausage. Um, but I think everything is judged on different categories. Okay, um, you got a brisket category. Had ribs category. Um, what else you got? Turn right on South Loop West Frontage but, Road. Uh, anyways, yeah. So there's a lot of traffic around this area, man. There's a lot of traffic around this area because I'm right down the street from NRG, which is where the Texans are going to play or play, as well as where the rodeo is going to be held. So, yeah. So let me go pick up Clifford, and hopefully he's going to go somewhere to where I'm not going to encounter lots In of. In 900 lots. feet. Take a slight left on South Loop uh, West Frontage Road. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Well, I just dropped off. In 800 feet, turn right on Blodgett Street. Just dropped off nine lovely ladies at Savoy and uh, <laughs> very nice very nice very nice and they're going out in the, out in the town out in the town um, Reliant NRG guys NRG Stadium uh, it's not the cook-off it's not the cook-off I called my wife and she's like no that's not till next week um, no tonight is Monster Jam uh, Monster Jam and something I wanted to take my godson you know uh, I wanted to take my godson because in a quarter of a mile Turn left on South Freeway Frontage Road. Something I think he would have really enjoyed. Um, I completely forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, man, it was oof, it was crazy around that area. So, uh, with that being said, um, yeah, it, Monster Jam is going on, going on, going on. I didn't check the, um, I didn't check the the festivals on our Uber app. Uh, usually, it tells you what's going around town. Um, I didn't check it out, so. Uh, well, because mainly I don't go out on Saturdays, so there's no reason for me to check it out. Usually I check it out and see what's going around town, but uh, yeah, I didn't see it. So, but yeah, we have Monster Jam tonight, and my lord, was it packed! In half a mile, you know. turn right on Bin Street. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up Adam at Sushi MF Sushi, okay, and uh, take him where he needs to go. It's not paying that very much, guys. It's only what three sixteen. Uh, Probably just going right down the street. Yeah, Hotel Zaza. And, uh, but yeah, I definitely don't want to go anywhere close, 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 close to um, Reliant Stadium NRG because, man, yeah, those lines to get into NRG, man, the, the, the lights has a uh, tail end to it. Okay. So, anyways, 
but um, turn right on Ben Street. All right, guys, you guys be careful, and uh, let me go down the road and pick up. Uh, who was it again? Who was it again? Who was it again? Who was? Oh, it was Adam. In half Adam. a mile, turn right on La Branch Street. And uh, man, I love sushi. Um, I love sushi. I like the crab. Um, what else? The shrimp. Um, salmon's pretty good. Uh, I don't like squid. Squid has a kind of weird taste to it. Um, uh, try and think the karaoke, the California spicy roll. I like that. Uh, that one has crab meat with avocado, celery, cream cheese, and then it has a spicy, uh, like a spicy uh, sauce glazed on top of it. So yeah, I'm a big sushi person. Okay, but it all depends what it is too. So, um, but yeah, let me go down the street, pick up Adam, take him where he needs to go, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys. Uh, Adam has dropped off real quick, guys. Real quick, real quick, real quick. And I picked up this one. This one is. Uh, well, let me turn this one off because it's gonna be going off. But picked up this one, and it's uh, picking up Dex. And this one is paying what, seventeen, sixteen dollars, something like that. Um, I wish there was a way where we can actually see. Um, make sure Adam and his wife didn't leave anything behind but yeah it was like literally just like two blocks away and uh, she was dressed to impress and a very very beautiful lady or yeah girl uh, they went out for uh, some, have some sushi and uh, he's barely acquiring the taste and apparently she's been eating it for years so um, but yeah very nice happy couple so Drop them off at the hotel where they're staying at. They're originally from, she's from Wisconsin, and he is from Chicago. Uh, they're here for a birthday party. And anyways, I'm waiting for these people to get out of the way, man. I'm trying to get out of this little line that's coming out of the out of the hotel. Okay, and apparently the person in front is taking their sweet ass time. Okay, they're holding us back because. Okay, there, close the door. Head to your pickup on Main Street. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So, uh, waiting for this one car to get out of the way so I can we can get on down the road. But this one car is literally holding up the line. Um, and the thing is, the valet people notice that because they keep on looking at the line like, all right, we got to get this person out of here. So, uh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a lady. Yeah, come on, lady. Take your time. Yeah, it's not. We have nowhere else important to go. Yeah. But, uh, it looks like something, something was going on here. Something festive because a lot of people are coming out of this. Oh, it looks like some kind of Mardi Gras uh, party was going on because the people are dressed, dressed to impress. Kind of like what Adam and his wife were. Uh, yeah. Looks like there are some kind of festivities going on. Uh, I guess with the theme of Mardi Gras. So, uh, but anyways, yeah. Let me uh, go down the road, pick up uh, Dax, and then head out. Peace out. All right, guys. Just finished dropping off Jax and uh, or Dax. Sorry, Dax and his uh, his buddies. Um, call it some more college students. They're going to uh, Stampede, which is basically a country bar. Uh, but yeah, so I'm dropping off Dax, and it was uh, one. Three, it was four, four of them, um, and they're all from all over. Two from Rhode Island, one from California, one and one from Phoenix, and they were from Rice, uh, which is uh, a university here. You know, uh, but yeah. So I dropped them off. Now I'm just waiting for my next next ride to head out. So um, it's 10:50. So we'll see. So oh, let me see what I have over here. Oh, that's cashed out. Okay, that's, oh, hold on, let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Uh, nine. Back. What? Let's go and pick this one because we're going back into town. Back into town. They're back into town. Dame, 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 dame. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Let's go pick up Bay or B. I'll say Bay. You know. Turn right. As soon as then these turn people left. get out of my way, man. As soon as people get out of my way. Man, this club is packed. Okay. This club is packed. So that's my son. Let's see what he wants. So I'll just need it to send. But anyways, um, yeah. All right, brother. Uh, let me go ahead and pick up Bay, and I'll let you guys know what's up. 
All right, guys. See, this is the reason why I hate coming to down. Turn right on Texas Street. Because I cannot find this dude. It is very, very busy. I've been driving in circles, and it's one of these streets to where you can't go left, you can't go right, you have to go right, or you have to go left. And I've been going in circles, and for some reason, and this dude will not answer his phone. So one more night, I mean, one more minute, and I'm about to uh, drop this person because you see, he's supposed to be right there. There's no one there. So yeah. So with that being said, I'm at the corner of Maine. And I don't see no Alex, man. I'm at the corner of Maine. And I'm waiting for this dude. I see a guy walking his dog. But yeah, there's a lot of action going on, guys. A lot of action going on, and I don't see anybody. Um, yeah. So hopefully this guy shows up here. See, look, and he bounced out again. My lord. Um... Uh, I'm literally gonna be because first he was he was first he was where I was at, then I go over there, then he bounces out of, to another area. So then I go over there, and uh, let me see if he answers his phone. Hold on, his phone. I hope he doesn't expect me to drive in circles and look for him. Alright dude, I'm about to drop you because I'm not going to be driving in circles and driving in circles and driving in circles. So, uh, I arrived because this is where it told me to go. Every time I come around the corner, it, see, he's moving again. Is he moving towards me or what's the deal? See? About to drop you, buddy. I'm about to drop you. And this one is paying like 20 something bucks, man. I'm about to drop you, buddy. It's not that I want to, it's just. And Lyft is going crazy, you know. Lyft is going crazy, and for some reason. I'm gonna get something that's paying almost the same thing as what this one is paying. Um, let's see, Alex is just moving around, and I am literally parked right here, and I try to call you, buddy. And the thing is, it's not picking up his area to where the clock starts. So, yeah, you know. But you know what? Sorry, man. Tried getting to you. Same thing what I was going to get when I was going to pick up Alex. Or at least close to it. And, uh... Nope, no trip radar. It's 
Charlie Chaps my hive guys. And I hate to be hate to be a penny pusher and uh cherry picker, but I was literally driving around in circles trying to find this dude. And we're at, you're at Crawford and Rusk. You're going up north. That's cherry picking, guys. What I'm doing is cherry picking. Perfect example, cherry picking. But only because I wasted a lot of time going in circles. And, uh, so right now there's a $3 bonus. So, I mean, just to let you know how crazy it's going right now. But that's because it's hard to get to people. This guy's gonna get hit by a car. Stupid ass people on damn bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Here, here pretty soon is gonna tell me if I'm still there. He's gonna ask me, are you still there? Northwest Freeway, San Jacinto, Comfort. No. Like I said, I want almost the same thing <coughs> what, what I was getting when I was picking up Alex. Here we are, 1120, 1128. Here pretty soon, guys. I'm gonna need to decide to, to pick something up. So, anyways, let me go ahead and let you guys go, and I'll let you guys know when I drop off the, my next passenger. All right, guys, just dropped off Tiffany and uh, Asian girl, and uh, she's only been in our country for one year, and she is going through culinary school. And she's going to be here for about a year and a half. And her plan is to go overseas to Switzerland and work in Switzerland. Um, but from what I understand her, um, she lives here with her brother and her sister-in-law. And um, she worked at the Four Seasons. And uh, she was kind of like explaining to me certain things about Switzerland compared to America you know taxes and stuff like that so that's another big one. but I've got to figure out how I'm going to get out of the neighborhood because there's a lot of a lot of let's see what's in here maybe someone give me a tip oh reserve trip at five Oh yeah, I know that. I guess they were just gonna give me a heads up. Not heads up, but a reminder, even though, come on, go back, go back. So what I'll do is, get I'm missing that. Missing it, missing it, missing it, but do I go? Grand Parkway, oh, no, so I gotta make a left. Oh, make it right, make it right, make it right. <clears throat> ah, no, I wanted to make a left. I wanted to make a left, people, because I wanted to get to right there. Yeah, make a left. So I'm gonna make a left, guys. Yeah. Getting a bit hungry, guys. Getting a bit hungry. A bit hungry. But yeah, this one came through the pike, and it was paying us sixteen dollars. So close to what I was going to make with Alex, except I could just never find the dude. I can never find him. So, oh well. Let him know that, I, hey, try to get into you. Because um, it was irritating, guys. It was irritating. But anyways, it is what it is. Let me go down the street. See if I can find a McDonald's, Burger King. Don't want Jack in a Box. I'm getting kind of jacked out. 
and uh, yeah, let me see if I can find a Burger King, uh, McDonald's, uh, a Whataburger, something where I can slam down a cheeseburger real quick. So uh, yeah, let me go down the street, try and find my uh, my uh, second win, and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, just dropped off. Uh, just dropped off uh, Abe. Abe is a mechanic for BMW and uh, was going home and uh, now I'm dropping, uh, now I'm about to go pick up, uh, who is this? I'm gonna go pick up Marsha and going up to Spring. I know where this is at. And it's paying 2511. In 500 feet, turn left on Mont, turn right. So, uh, yeah, guys, yeah, you know, um, pulled over for about a good 30 minutes, man. Um, I had a bad headache and, uh, um, something I said last night, guys, but obviously there I had no audio, but, uh, man, with, with these t climate changes here in, in Houston, um, Allergies. I have bad allergies. You know, me, my son, my in wife. In 500 feet, turn uh, left on Montrose really Boulevard. Us, you know, um, and so I had to pull over and get something to eat real quick. And I laid down for about a good minute. And, uh, you know, man, the allergies were just kicking my butt, you know. Uh, in fact, I need a, I need a, I need a take some medicine with me, you know, uh, some allergy medicine. Either some Advil or some Aleve or something, you know, because when the allergies kick up, man, you know, my nose In gets, three quarters of a mile, use the left lane to turn left on clogged, Fairview Street. Clogged, clogged, clogged. And it almost feels like I have Booger Central. Uh, but no, it's basically my allergies just, you know, um, you know, my sinus just kicks kicks into high gear. So, uh, yeah, but let me go down the street, pick up Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Take her to spring and uh yeah still have that appointment at what five something i think it is you know so i still got some time to uh make us some coinage but yeah so let me go down the street and pick her up guys all right guys uh oh uh marcia <laughs> marcia and her friends are dropped off very nice lively crew and uh picked them up and um one of the one of the the bar sections that are pretty uh, pretty busy. So uh, yeah, those they're nice. They're nice people. And um, so now I just have to find a way to get out of here. Oh, sorry, I need to turn this one back on to get something out. Get something out, guys. Get something. Oh, did I turn something off? Nope. They're there. So. Uh, yeah, still got some time to pick up some rides here and there, here and there. So, uh, yeah, let me go down the street, guys, and I need to stop somewhere and use El Baño. All right, talk to you guys soon. Peace out. All right, guys. Picked up this gem, and uh, this was... Head to your pickup on Klein Street. This was the same one that I picked up last week that... Turn right. It took me a minute to get to because... To get to this rail yard, you have to take a back road to get to, and I didn't know that. And I was trying to avoid it because there was a cop by the side of the road, and I don't want turn to take right. the back road. And he's like wondering, "Hey, what are you doing back here?" Uh, but yeah, it turned out to be it was a rail yard, and um, picked up two different gentlemen this time. Um, and turn right, then bucks. turn left on Grand Boulevard. This one paid forty bucks. Uh, I think last week it was like 45. Um, so yeah, so I picked up this one and uh, now I'm gonna go pick up Amanda. I'm gonna take you by the hand and make you understand Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so uh, yeah, there's a little gem, guys, there's a little gem. And so apparently the, um, this is the every night, every night, you know, and man, it'd be nice if I can try and somehow get this every day. You know that I'm out, as well as because uh, I in have a quarter a, uh, mile turn right on Wallaceville Road. I have a scheduled pickup at. Uh, well, as you guys know, I have a scheduled pickup later on this morning for 50 bucks. So yeah, 
this gem and the one that I have later on, fifty dollars. Yeah, ninety dollars off the, off the bat. So, uh, but yeah, let me go down the road, pick up Amanda, take her where she needs to go, and uh, hopefully stay uh, stay busy till I have to uh, go pick up my uh, my ride. Peace out. All right, guys. Actually, I dropped off Amanda a little bit about say about fifteen minutes ago, and then uh, actually. The address that they, need, they needed to go was 230 TC Jester, and they actually put down 2303 Smith Street, opposite side, opposite side of of Houston, where they needed to go. Um, they were like, uh, "Excuse me, sir, where are you taking us?" Two young girls, you know, two young girls, they're probably in their mid 20s and stuff. And um, I'm like, and I looked at the address, and I'm like, uh, it's 2303 Smith Street. She's like, "No, it's supposed to be TC Jester." And I'm like, oh, "Okay, well." So they had to update the drop off and it bumped up the fare to like around 15 bucks when it was supposed to only pay like around $8, I think it was. Um, and then as soon as I dropped them off, this one came up, okay, Steel. So Steel is giving me 39.31, okay. Um, so another $40 trip that I, that I got on my lap. So the one before Amanda, and then uh, now I'm picking up steel for another 40 bucks, and then later on this evening, or this morning, here in like an hour and a half, uh, picking up, uh, I think his name was uh, Rosario, and that one is, uh, that one is uh, 50 bucks, so yeah, three trips, man, you know, uh, 40, 40, and 50, you know. Turn right on West 20th Street. I had to call steel because... It was, uh, there was a train in the way. So I didn't want to lose that, that In a quarter fare. of a mile, the pickup will be on the left. So I don't want to lose that fare. And uh, so I called him. I'm like, hey, man, I said, give me about five minutes. Uh, I'm right down the street, but I have to go around this train. And he was like, oh, don't worry about it, man. Don't sweat it. He goes, I'll wait for you. So uh, he's right down the street. I'm picking him up. And then I think I see him. Uh, there, there he is, two guys. And um, so let me go pick the him pickup up. Will guys steel is dropped off that is uh 39 something in the box and now i'm on my way to uh towards my port my pickup for 6 30 and uh yeah so overall 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 uh trying to get back into uh chicago rideshare masters uh live feed live chat and uh but for some reason i don't know if it's because of where the area that i'm in or what but it's not letting me, man. It's not letting me. No me deje. No me dejan. No me deje. So, uh, yep, yeah, says this video is private. Está privado. I can't jump in, man. What's going on? What's going on, Hector? Let your peeps in, man. Come on. Turn right onto Katie Hockley Road. <laughs> yeah. Gonna make this right turn on Katie Hockley Road, go all the way straight to I 10. I 10 going to Houston. And then, I gotta be careful on some of these streets, man. Yeah, it's gonna, it's pretty dark out here, man. It's out here and we're, we're, we're way out here, peoples. We're way out here. Um, Katie, Texas, Katie, Texas, which is outskirts of Houston. Um, you know what it's all good it's all good it's all good it was worth coming out here now i'll take a nice little cruise back into the city towards my pickup thank god i got the street name so i can go in that direction and uh yeah so uh let me uh get on the way down the road heading towards my pickup i'll let you guys know how that goes peace out all right, guys, got one more, one more In a trip. quarter mile, turn right using the right lane. Got one more trip picking up this person, Jennifer, and uh, this is going to take me close to my uh, scheduled pickup. I thought it was at 6.30. It's at 6.50. So that gives me a little bit of breathing room, and it looks like she's going to be waiting for me at a gas station. Yep, I see her. Turn right, I then turn you. right. I see you, I see you, I see you, Jennifer. And um, so anyways... Um, but yeah, so this is taking me close to uh, to my pickup location. 
and uh, probably from after I drop off Jennifer, uh, I'll definitely head home or head towards my pickup. So, uh, yeah. But hope everybody's been doing well. Um, let's try to get back into uh, Chicago Rideshare Masters uh, live feed, but for some reason, I don't know if the connection was drop or he canceled it out or what but yeah i wasn't able to uh to pick it up anymore so yeah so anyways let me go pick up uh jennifer she's right here and uh you know what? i'll let you guys listen in on my conversation with jennifer yeah yeah it's like she's a metro driver Here she comes. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. How are you doing this morning? I'm just a little tired, but... Tired? <laughs> you're too young to be tired. Yeah. <laughs> just no. got off work. Across the street, you know? Yeah. You normally know get off the run this time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I gotta do it again tomorrow. Oh, yep, yeah, right, exactly. Well, not tomorrow, well, today. <laughs> right, yeah, later today, right? Yeah. Well, I'm back in today, but I get off, yeah. Around tomorrow. this time? And I'm a, in a quarter mile, keep so left onto I 10 East using or? the left lane. Okay. okay. For a second, I thought you were a uh, metro driver for a second, <laughs> you know. I was going to pick your brain on that one. Um, see how metro Keep left onto I-10 East. My last security job, I had to wear like a, a, a three-piece suit. Really? Yes, and I was always mistaken for like a metro driver. Like, <laughs> uh, well, not driver, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Right. In two miles, keep left to stay on I-10 East. So I guess they wanted to make you guys look, you know, somewhat professional. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Jennifer's dropped off, and man, it's. Uh, let me turn back on my. Uh, I already got the alert saying uh, you know, be online to, uh, to get ready to go towards my. Uh, my pickup but I haven't got the little uh, bing bing head to your head to your pickup or whatever you want to call it but you know what like I said thank god I have the the street name so I'm gonna start heading that way and it says I'm only 20 South, minutes away miles. 20 minutes away on Nettleton Street toward Burley Street then turn right onto Burley Street Burley Street Burley Street and uh, but yeah, I'm like 20 minutes away, and here it is, uh, 609. Head east on Nettleton Street toward Burkitt Street, then yeah, turn left onto Burkitt Street. Yeah, I'm gonna start heading that way. Turn left onto Burkitt Street, then turn right to stay on Burkitt Street. Burkitt Street, let me see, is that gonna tell me? Okay, yeah, I guess I'll make a left here. I was just gonna go down, down, uh, Cleburne, which is gonna be going toward U of H, University of Houston area, and head out. So, you know, but. Yep, so far so good. So far so good. And uh, that ride was uh, paying. Turn right to stay on Burkitt Street. Was paying uh, thirteen thirty one. You see it right there. And uh, so yeah. So let me see if. Uh, In a quarter mile, turn right onto Elgin Street. Let's see if the feed is is on. Let me see. Let me see if you're on. Oh, brother. we outside, man. That's we an old outside, one. man. That's an old one. Let's go to live feed. Nope, still not there, man. Still not there. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. So, but oh well. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Cliche, cliche, cliche. Let me see if Jennifer, make sure Jennifer didn't leave anything in the truck. Oh, yeah. I might pull over to a side street and uh, clean up just a tad. And then I wait for my ping to go uh, head the direction to pick up uh, Rainier. Rainier, I think the name was Rainier. Okay. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, 
So let me go ahead and chime out, guys, and I'll let you know when I'm on my way, or I'll let you know when I drop them off. So um, 6.50, I'm picking them up. It's going to take me about at least 30 minutes to get to the airport, which will probably be like around 7.30. 7.30, probably head to the crib, get some rest for uh, later on's festivities for the Taylor Swift Bowl. Turn right onto Elgin Street. And, uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead and uh, head out, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Peace out. Ace Town. All right, guys. Ramiro is dropped off. And that is it, guys. That is it. I am done. So, yeah, I am done. 735. And once again, guys, just to uh, touch on, I want to go this late in the morning on the weekends because obviously there's no. Well, this is going Bel Air. Yeah, no. Uh, and I'm probably going to get a couple of these as I'm heading out. But you know what? I am just going home, people. I am going home. So, uh, it's been fun, and it's been grand, and it's been great. And, uh, but yeah, I am going home. So, it was a good night. Had some great fares. Uh, a couple of, four, couple of 40s. And a 49 right there with Romero. A couple of 20s. Uh, I would highly, highly state that tonight was a very successful and smooth night and uh yeah so this is me checking out next what you will see is my numbers all right take care guys